Hi everyone and welcome back. So my objective of these recent, these latest videos is talking about the building blocks for Next.js and in that context we talked about services, controllers, middlewares, exception filters, pipes, guards and interceptors. I mean these can be, you can read them from the documentation easily. The point I'm talking here is just to go through them once so that we can use them when we are actually writing the routes, services, we will be implementing the auth routes using the passport. In that case, we will be writing the middlewares and the auth guards and the interceptors like logging interceptors we will be writing to the log the request. So in this video, we are going to talk about the final fundamental uh, building block which is interceptors. Okay, so the use of interceptors in Nest.js is to do something uh, before request is being processed. This is just an extra logic you are adding. You are not doing any kind of validation. You are not stopping it for any kind of processing like a middleware. Okay. This is like same as aspect oriented programming where you wanted to add some extra logic before and after the execution of a method. Okay. It can be used to transform the result which you are returning, transform the exception which you are throwing. Okay. Extend the basic function behavior because it is being patched before execution and after execution. So you can do few different things with that. Okay. It, uh, it has the interceptor method, which takes uh, intercept. I mean, it has an intercept method, which takes the request object. So like you wanted to log something before request is getting processed. So you can create a simple interceptor, logging interceptor, which will log something based on what you want. Like you wanted to add a, like, at what time this request is coming from which client all these things you can add so we can create a logging interceptor so here in the user module these all can be moved to a core module because these are part of uh, global level okay here i can just create yes so this is the basic interceptor. What it is doing is it is actually trying to log the user interactions. Like when user is sending these events or hand, or hitting these routes. So we can show a simple logging interceptor, which is adding just a timestamp in the console log. And this, that will be helpful. You can just customize it. So we are actually implementing the nest interceptor and nest interceptor has this intercept method, which we have to implement. And this interceptor is actually taking context and next handler, right? We have to call next once done. So here we are just intercepting it before handling the request and we are just trying to print something. So it is handle method. So what it is returning, it is returning observable. So we have to just deal with the stream which we are returning. So we have done the pipe, right? It is returning observable. Then pipe is there, which is here. You can write all the observable operators like tap map use filter to deal with this data okay and then it is forwarding so now how to bind this interceptor with our routes you can use use interceptor at the controller level which we talked about like at the controller level if you want to use it then you can just say use interceptor and just pass the logging interceptor okay if you want it at the controller level then you can just simply say use interceptor same as the guard and you can just create the interceptor uh, instance of it simple I think this is how you can bind it you can bind it at the global level also I mean that's your choice in the main.ts we are doing it for many purpose app dot use new logging interceptor just imported this is how we can do it okay uh, thanks everyone